Patrick, today we saw the second impeachment of President Donald Trump in a capital filled with armed soldiers ready to defend it. Yeah, it's uh, only Wednesday. It's already been a week for the history books in Washington. And Illinois Congressman Mike Quigley had a front seat for all of that. He joins us now live to, to talk about this uh, this day today. What what a seven days you've had, Congressman. Um, we heard what you said on the House floor when you were recognized here. Tell us how it felt then to cast that historic vote afterward and the swiftness in which, which you were able to deliver it. Look, I, I think it was impro uh, appropriate. Uh, I believe this president is still a clear and present threat. Uh, who doesn't believe that if he told the militias to stand down, that a lot of people would be safer. It, who would, who believes that if he told them and said, I lost this election, uh, Joe Biden is the next president, that we would be safer. He refuses to do that. You know, I, I was there, I was in the room where it happened, and I saw the words, I saw him give uh, the speech and the words he said to send tens of thousands of people down to the people's house. Uh, in a violent insurrection. So it, it honestly, um, it felt good to, to give that vote and show that democracy can work despite the attack on the system. Congressman, how did it feel to you going to the Capitol, seeing all those National Guards, or, or even what does it feel like in Washington right now with tanks and things like that there? Look, it's, it, as you say, it's been a surreal week as we went back to vote last time. You know, um, it was a crime scene. Uh, the statutory hall and the hallways that we walked into the chambers were covered with the powder of uh, gas that had been used. And the fact is our, our police were outnumbered. They didn't have sufficient uh, supplies. So when you go there today, and we're gonna have what, 15,000 National Guard stationed in the Capitol. It's, it's an armed camp right now, and it's surrounded by extraordinary fencing. They're gonna have uh, armed vehicles mm -hmm. there. Uh, it, it's just an extraordinary display, but look, it, it's necessary and requisite to the threat that we're facing. It, it concerns me there, but look, all 50 capitals are targets. I don't know that we have the resources to protect the magnitude of threat. We're not talking about a threat of a small army. Or we're talking about a threat of a large, well-armed army uh, attacking this system. That is a real sobering thought, Congressman, and Micah brings up a good point. Um, do you feel safe do you, when you look forward to the, uh, the inauguration um, next week, that uh, knowing what you just said, that it's hard to, to guard every, every important site in Washington. Uh, that said, how, how do you feel about not only your safety, but your colleagues and people throughout D.C.? Look, to an extent, I, I guess I signed up for this, knowing what kind of president we have. I'm not surprised that he did this. Uh, I always said it's going to get worse. I'm extremely concerned um, about the uh, security of the innocents. Look, people, uh, we lost a police officer, two police officers in the nation's capital. There's many more at risk. So sure, uh, look, it was a very matter of fact briefing we had this week when they said, oh, by the way, uh, your bulletproof vest is tax, it's fully reimbursable and we need more instructions on how to use gas masks. Look, people say we need to go on with the nation's business. I agree. I would love to be talking to you about the first 100 days of a Biden administration, talking about dealing with the pandemic, talking about climate change, gun violence. The list is long. Love to be there. But right now, when we're sworn in, the first thing we swear to and the president swears to is to defend this country. After 9-11, we were afraid because we were worried about uh, embedded terrorists. Uh, the numbers here are so many greater, and they're not embedded, they live here. And they're a short drive from their capitals and a lot of other government buildings. So that's what I'm concerned about. Look, uh, I get this. I don't know if I'm just not processing the threats that might be there for me, uh, but you know, my job is to protect uh, my community and my country. And quickly, yes or no, are you f f um, worried about the security of the capital, Jan the Illinois capital, Springfield, come January 17th? I'm worried about it from now on. I'm worried about rogue actors. Uh, I'm pleased that the public reporting on these threats is, is uh, um, pretty dramatic and overspread as it is. But the fact is people need to be aware of their circumstances and local governments need to step up their game. 
this is going to be a very difficult challenge in some days more difficult some ways more difficult than we faced during 9-11. Congressman Mike Quigley, be safe. Thank you for your time tonight, and we'll check in with you again down the road, sir. Thank you. All Take right. care. You too.